In this video, we'll create a new project and we will explore another view available in our layouts, which is Zedit text. So I'm gonna start by um, starting a new Android Studio project. I will select an empty activity like we did before and I will keep the name of the application, my application, um, same default values here. And then I will keep the API level at 15 and click finish. And now we have our project created with the main activity available in here, which has the two main files, the main activity.java and the activity underscore main.xml. So if you go to the activity main.xml and actually I'm gonna minimize this and zoom in and we can actually minimize this too so we can see um, a bigger screen available in here. So we have the text view hello world. We can delete that or we can modify on it. And in the main activity.java, notice by default, we have the onCreate method added to our class. The class is called main activity. It extends the app compact activity and we are overriding the onCreate method. And in here we are setting the content view to the activity underscore main, which is our layout file that we created with this activity. So let's go back to our layout file here and let's actually add some widgets. So I'm gonna create an application that actually asks the user to enter a secret word and if it's the secret word that we have stored in our application, we'll tell them welcome to this application. If it's not, we'll just tell them that um, access denied, for example. So to be able to do that, I will need to add an input um, field for the user to enter their guess or their secret word, which is basically an edit text um, an edit text view. So I'm gonna drag a plain text in here and I will actually center that on top of here. So I'll center it horizontally and that will place it in here. Now one of the properties or attributes for the um, edit text is actually something called hint. So we do not want to display any text in there so I'm gonna delete that text but I do want to display um, a hint which will tell the user what they are expected um, to type in there. So let's say please type the passcode and that will be displayed in here as a grade um, text. So it's not something they need to delete and write on top of it or instead of it, it will just be displayed in the background. Once they start typing, it will not be displayed anymore. Now let's actually go and delete um, this text view that came by default, the hello world text view. I can right click on it and actually delete it. And notice that the edit text now does not have the top and bottom constraints because it was reliant on that um, text view. So I'm gonna just center it to the middle of the screen by adding a top and a bottom constraint to the um, according to the parent. And now it's centered in here. So let's go and add a button um, below that text view and constrain it to the top of that text view and center it to the center of the screen. So that will be immediately um, below that. And let's change the text and um, let's say login, for example. So now it's displaying login and when we click on it, we want to check if the text that they entered is the actual um, passcode that we have. So let's go and map it to a method in our Java file and let's call that method login. Now we'll have a red notification here that tells you we do not have the method login so we'll need to add that in our Java um, file. So once they log in, once they click login, it's either going to tell them access denied or welcome to the application. So in here I'm gonna add um, a text view on top and let's actually place it in here on top of here and center it to the middle. So once we click or type the passcode, we click on login, we are going to check if this passcode is what we want. If it is, we'll display some text in here. So let's go to our uh, main activity.java and actually create that uh, method. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna create that method which will be um, public void and it's called it will be called login, like we named it there, and it's going to actually take a view and let's call that view v. Since we did not import that 
um, view class, I'm gonna click on Alt Enter. And here I'm gonna click on Alt Enter and we will see that we are importing that class in here. So import view android.view.view. So we'll add the um, curly braces to have whatever we want in here. So now that I have this method, I need to be able to access these two views. One is a text view and one is the um, edit text. So to be able to access it from this method, and if we, in case we have another method that we want to try to access these views from, I need to create these um, variables outside. So I'm gonna create a text view in here, and let's call it TV, and create an edit text, and this is my object for the edit text, and let's call it ET. So I have a text view and an edit text, and I'm going to initialize them in my own create method like we did before. So this way, if we have another method that wants to have access to them, they can have access to them directly without the need to initialize them again. So TV is actually equal to find view by ID, and our ID will be in r.id, and then we want to get that text view, which is called um, text view. Actually, it's called text view too. Same thing for the edit text. We want to find view by ID and the ID R dot ID dot and it's called edit text. So now that I have initialized my text view and edit text, I will be able to access them and use them in my login method. So what do we want to do? We want to get the text that the user entered in the edit text and we want to compare it with a secret word. Let's actually create a string here call it code and let's initialize that code here to be equal to um, hello. Now this is my code hello and I want to compare the text that I get from the edit text with that hello. So the first thing I need to do is get that text so I'm gonna create a string here and let's call it input that what the user is actually inserted there is equal to edit text and now the method that I'm going to use is get text. So get text will return that text that we had in there. Now notice I have a problem here. The edit text is not returning a string. The edit or the get text here is not returning a string. It's re returning an object of the uh, of the class editable. So I need to convert this into a string. And to do that I will use the toString method and that will convert the text that we retrieved, the editable object that we retrieved, we convert it into a string. So let's actually just print it out to the log now. So log dot i, so it will be as an information, and let's put the tag um, text we got, and then comma the value or the uh, message that we will have will be the input that we received from that user. So let's go ahead and run that application and test it. And actually I have my um, log cat here so we can see um, when we click on the button if we get that um, text that we entered. So I'm gonna click here on the text, uh, that text um, location and you'll see we have the keyboard um, you can actually type directly on your um, computer keyboard. So let's type hello. And when we click on the button, so we can um, minimize this keyboard by clicking here. And when we click on the button login, that should display the um, information log in here. So we have the information log in here. So we say text we got is hello. So we are able to get the um, text that the user is typing in their, um, in the application. So the next step is to actually compare that um, text that we have with the secret word. So if the input, which is the user entering, is equal, so we are when we compare strings, we use the equals method, is equal to the code, whatever the code is, so the code was hello. If they are equal, in that case, we want to set the text view to say welcome. So text view, which is tv dot set text welcome otherwise else we'll just set that text view text view tv dot set text 
we'll say access denied. So let's run it again. Now let's try it. So I'm gonna start by typing hello, which is actually our secret word. And let's click on login. So it says welcome. Let's try another um, value. So let's say bye. Let's try to click on here. And it said access denied. Now one of the things that we do not want to have in our application, let's actually restart it and see it, is when you start, I do not want to display this text view. So what we can do, we can make this text view invisible for now until we click on login. So to do that, I'm gonna do that in my onCreate method. So in my onCreate method, once we um, create that um, activity, I want to make this text view invisible for now. So what I can do here, I can go to TV dot set visibility and then um, we'll make it as invisible. So view dot invisible. So let's run it now again. You'll see now the text view is not displaying only when you enter the um, the passcode in here, hello, login, it will be, um, it should be displayed. So now it's invisible. So once we click on the login, we want to make it visible. So we'll go back to our um, login method and we will make it visible after we check. So in here, we can make this text view as visible. So we can make tv.set visibility and then we make it view dot visible. So let's go and run it again. Let's say hello. And let's click on login. So it says welcome, let's say bye. And now it should say access denied. 